What's going on guys? Bassin' It Up Moffat here coming at you with a new video. In this week's video, unlike I wanted, I wanted to post our little kayak trip that we had the other day out on the Susquehanna River, but I decided to drop my hard drive while I was at B&B over the weekend for their open house. And while I was doing that, I dropped my hard drive and it decided to take a crap on me. So now, I had to send my hard drive out to get repaired and get the files off of it so I have that video and that cost two grand. Damn! So that's fun. Hopefully you guys really enjoy these videos because they ain't cheap. <laughs> but in this week's video, we are still doing a river trip. This was a river trip that I had over the summer. We went up to Goldsboro. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. And here we go. So first, it's summertime, so I decide to head across the river and start over by these eddies and these little current breaks in this faster moving current coming down and I start throwing the chatterbait. Chatterbait is a great bait over the summer especially when you're fishing the river for smallmouth. They absolutely annihilate a chatterbait. So I start throwing that just a slow normal retrieve banging it along the bottom hitting it off of all the rocks and stuff that's down there. Start out with a black and blue one Got one. Big one. Get the net, get the net, Ryan. This is a really big one. I don't think it hooked really good either. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No, no, no. Oh, man, dude. That's probably a four pounder. Holy crap, no. Man, look at that one, guys. That's a big old girl. That's what we came for. First fish of the day on the old chatter dunk. That's a nice one. That's probably a four. She's fat enough. Stocky, stocky fish. <laughs> Watching it move. As I continue now, I continue down through the river a little ways. I can only go up so far here. It gets real, real, real shallow after these little eddies that I was fishing. So I have to go down river now. I'm pretty sure I just saw a smallmouth and start fishing some of this grass out here in front of this marina and start throwing the chatterbait along through real, real slow. Trying to rip it through that grass and entice any reaction strikes out of any of these fish. And of course now it starts to rain. And boy is it starting to come down really hard. Never fails, anytime we go fishing, it always ends up raining. Oh yeah, now it's raining. Can we fish here once without getting fish on? No. I really hope this don't go long. Uh -huh. I said I hope this don't last long. Yeah. Oh, I came on it pretty quick. Ah. 
that sucks. Oh, it's getting ready to stop. It's not raining over there. Ain't that weird? Yeah. It's, it's just like a wall. Now I'm soaked. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 yeah. yeah, completely. Mother. Well, right, I'm already wet. Uh. We always have such an amazing time fishing. <laughs> Why did we have to get wet? Yeah, it was evidently a fluke. Oh. I don't like fishing. Oh my goodness. Big old <gasps> just jumped out there. This is dumb. Oh, I had one. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. He ripped my whole trailer off. Then we get down to a little bit deeper section here in front of the power plant and I start fishing a crankbait around just slow reeling that along the bottom trying to get any other fish to react to it doing a pause here or there trying to make something come up and react so now we decide to pick up and move and switch spots and kind of go f target largemouth there's a spot that i know where there's a bunch of good grass First I pick up the chatterbait and start chucking that around, ripping it through the grass real slow, trying to entice any reaction strikes. Now since that wasn't working, I decided to pick up the frog, go top water and throw that over top of all this grass and see if I can get any to come up for it. Here quick before we leave and gotta take Ryan home. guys that is about going to conclude it for this video as you saw we caught a pretty big smallmouth that was pretty awesome so if we're going to have a one fish day at least it was a big one it was tough river conditions the river was really really low i think it was about three and a half four foot and of course it was hot it was in the middle of the summer so i just went around and i tried to find any little pockets and eddies in the current and that's how i picked that big fish off if we would have had a little more time, we might have been able to figure out some more. There was a couple other places that I wanted to run, but we didn't get to because Ryan had to be home by a certain amount of time. So 
we were there for maybe about three and a half, four hours. But after catching that smallmouth and fishing down through, not having much luck, I went over to the other side, started fishing some grass, and tried to throw the frog a little bit for largemouth, but that didn't really pan out either. Sometimes that's just the way she goes, and that's fishing for you. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I know we're at 1,500 subscribers. We're going to do that giveaway. The giveaway winner announcement is going to be in the next video. So we will announce that then. Just bear with me a little bit here, guys. Lately has been so hectic and so much going on. And with me losing that hard drive and all that footage, there's tons and tons of videos that I haven't even posted anything about and stuff that were on there. So kind of made my life go haywire a little bit losing that. And having to pay that much to get it fixed, holy crap, that's absolutely ridiculous. And for not being paid for my videos, it really sucks. So please help me a little bit and subscribe to the channel and like this video and even leave a comment. It helps push my videos along a little bit further. So at least I get a little bit of something for all my hard work. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you next Thursday, guys. Tight lines.